So Trial of the Gods finally went live on Tuesday the 7th of November and it was really really great although I couldn't make any videos on it because it was my two year anniversary with my girlfriend so I was there celebrating that with her. But don't worry guys today I'm going to be making a video telling you guys the best method of killing the Anubis boss in the Trial of the Gods. So without further ado guys let's get straight into today's video. So before we get into the actual boss battle I want to make a few recommendations for weapons that we'll be able to use in this fight that will make it just that little bit easier for you because it's pretty difficult your first go around. First of all we have the composite bow which is acquired by killing one of the fire legs in the open world. As one of your swords you should use golden wolf. This is also acquired by killing one of the fire legs. Now for your second bow you could use one of two bows although they're both warrior bows. One being the fourth plague and the other one being jackal's gaze. The reason why both these bows are great is because they have the health on hit perk and this will come in handy later on. For your second melee weapon it doesn't really matter what you have i had the fire sword for this encounter because it's powerful you can really use whatever weapon you want in that slot so you have a choice between the composite bow the golden wolf jackal's gaze and the fourth plague the reason for this is because they all have perks that give your health back and this will be very important in the boss encounter obviously if you have other weapons that have health perks that restore your health then go ahead and use those if you prefer although these are the ones that i recommend any Anyway, as soon as you get into the boss encounter, the first thing you want to do is whip your composite bar and just start laying into Anubis's chest. You can only damage the boss with bows, so using your weapons at this bit really, really isn't advised at all. Also, something of note is that as soon as you begin the boss battle, he'll start sending out these fiery hyenas to attack you, as well as making a huge foggy cloud that will damage you as well. He'll alternate between these two through many of the stages of the boss battle. There will also be small loot boxes on the ground that you can pick up that will give you your arrows back, so you'll never be out of ammo. This is great because if you do get damaged by the hyenas or the fog cloud, then you can just shoot Anubis and get your health back with the composite bow. It's a reliable way of always being able to top up your health, so that's why these health on hits perks are very useful for this boss battle. After a while, Anubis will raise the dead from the ground, which will bring a bunch of NPC enemies into you. Once this happens, switch to your warrior bow and shoot one of them down. Immediately then use your overpower attack and do a chain throw to one of the others. This way you'll get a huge boost of health from shooting that initial enemy with the warrior bow, and you'll also do a ton of damage. This section here is where the golden wolf comes in handy, because every time you kill an enemy, it'll give you a large boost of health so if you do happen to run low on health on this bit then you can always use that to just top yourself back up again anyway just taking these enemies out is pretty straightforward and easy if you have the fire sword it'll be a whole lot easier as well because it does a ton of damage after this first phase of npcs anubis will go back to throwing the dogs at you although this time he'll throw two at once which is very hard to dodge sometimes i recommend getting back at a slight distance and just shooting the dogs before they get to you this is a much easier way of dealing with this type of attack. After this, Anubis will raise the dead again, although this time he'll also send the two dogs at you, so be wary of them whilst also doing damage to the normal NPC enemy. It's pretty difficult to kind of multitask the two things at once, but you get the hang of it. In this phase, Anubis will then start throwing dogs at you again, although they come in a huge barrage of about five. It's funny because this is actually probably the easiest to deal with. All you need to do is alternate dodging left and right, and the dogs will completely never touch you. This is pretty easy to deal with, so all you need to do is alternate dodging and then also spamming Anubis in the chest whilst also dodging the huge fog clouds too. In the very last phase of the boss, Anubis will send actual hyenas out to deal with you, although they're not very difficult to kill whatsoever. They're actually level 39, so they're going to be a level lower than you if you're doing this boss battle at the recommended level, which is level 40. All you need to do is dodge their attacks and hit them, and they'll basically just die pretty easily. Remember, if you are low on health then you have the golden wolf or your health weapon of choice to fall back on which is always really really nice because these hyenas do tend to gang up on you so all you need to do is kill one of them and you'll get a nice chunk of your health back after you've killed all these hyenas anubis will start glowing gold all over his armor and it's basically just a final push to kill him and finish him off with the composite bow he'll fire the normal barrage of five hyenas at you and obviously as we know it's very easy to deal with so all you need to do is spam the last arrows at him and there you go, you've killed Anubis. Overall, it's a pretty easy boss. It was kind of tricky at the beginning, I didn't really know what the hell I was doing, but it is great. It's 
it's good fun, you know, it's really good fun. I can't wait to see what the next one's gonna be like. That's if there is a next one, it isn't just the same boss again. I don't really know what's happening with Trial of the Gods, but we'll see in the future. From completing this boss, you get the legendary sword Conductor of Souls and a quest item. This is a quest item for the Anubis gear set, and for me, it was just a blank blue box. I don't really know what happened there. Maybe, like, it, it glitched out or something. Maybe, I, I, I don't know what happened, but it, it's, it's just a blank box. Anyway, the Conductor of Souls is a really nice sword. It has critical hit rate, combo multiplier, and health on kill. So I immediately really, really like this weapon. You can't really go wrong with a good health on kill perk because you're basically unstoppable, really. All you need to do is kill someone and you've basically got a huge chunk of your health back. It also does a really nice combo multiplier. So once you get a combo on an enemy, your adrenaline increases a lot quicker, which is really, really nice. It means you can use the overpower charge attack and then the chain attack as well, killing two enemies guaranteed. I still think my favorite weapon is the fire sword simply because it is really, really powerful. Although this is definitely gonna be a close second, I think. I might even use this as my secondary weapon so I have the fire sword and then if I want to get my health back, I just quickly switch to conductor of souls and then get my health back through that way. I think it's a really, really good weapon and if you like straight swords, then this is definitely really, really nice. Anyway, Trial of the Gods will be on each week and basically the more you do it, the more chance you have of getting the Anubis outfit, which is in total the main goal of doing this. The main reason why anyone really wants to do Trial of the Gods is for the sweet gear you get and that nice looking Anubis outfit, which I'm definitely going to be getting. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to go ahead and like and subscribe for more gaming news content and reviews in the future. Be sure to go check out my previous videos i'll leave a link on screen at the end of this video and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one